Hello and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, the Canarian. Now, let's get straight back into this. Um, we were in the middle of a war with Castile, weren't we? And if I remember, these guys, are they coming back to Burgos? They are. Why? Do they honestly think that they can take us? Is that it? Um, I guess so. Or are they part of a different war? I thought they were part of our war. Oh well. Um, let's try and keep these forces down, shall we? I don't like it when the enemy starts getting uh, a little bit excited. Right. Good thing is, once we've won this war, um, that battle's going to be ours. <coughs> but once we've won this war, we will be able to move um, loads of our vassals under Castile, which will take away this vassal problem we've got here. And we'd probably grant some lands away to keep people loyal and keep people happy. Um, we could threaten. Who is this dude? King Run of Scotland. We don't need any problems now. Okay. You go then. You're gonna arrive. No, you're gonna get there before them. Fantastic. But you've got no leaders. And I couldn't give you leaders before you went in. Um. Well, you're an angry man. Yeah, you'd assemble a mob to go and damage it. Um. Yeah, why not? Okay, we went to the ground. Fantastic. That's, of course, fantastically good. It's always good to destroy the economy whenever you feel like it. <coughs> right, there's a large Castilian force there we need to be aware of. The army of Emperor John could definitely jump in there if it needed to. At the moment I'm kind of using it as a lure. So yes, let's let's leave that army there. Okay. Fabricate. Someone was trying to fabricate a claim on something. I really need to stop clicking off of those. Eat Hill Aldagon. Who? Edmund the Just. Oh yes, my second son. Um. We'll educate you with. Yeah, we'll let that happen. Okay. Um. I can't see how these guys are going to cause us many problems. As long as we capture Burgos and a few other places, this should go rather smoothly, in my opinion. Watch my son pay to play another child yesterday. Da -da -da. He didn't want to share his toys. Okay. What are we? This is how children learn the thrift. Yes, of course. Of course. I completely agree, Emperor John. That is how children learn the thrift. Because that's what you think, and therefore we'll go with what you think. No technology upgrades while this is going on. <coughs> so we've got a bit of a cough at the moment, it would seem. Um, there's probably some people, it seems like some people are scheming in uh, France at the moment. Unfortunate for them, I guess. We'll do nothing for now. We'll not cause ourselves any problems. What do direct vassals look like at the moment? Um, quite a mess in in Spain at the moment. Okay, and we're having a truce expire with Norway. But have we united all of... No, no, Scotland's going for it. Scotland's going for it. That's why I don't want a war with Scotland. I want them to unite Scotland. They're doing a great job. Why attack people who are doing a good job, eh? Ooh, Banu Abad took some stuff of Aragon. Ah, that'll be my next target then. What is that... Um, Balancia or Al Coturba. I have to say, Coturba sounds like a, a cool name in my opinion. Quite a cool name. But we'll go for that next. We'll take that off them. Seems like a rather good idea. And then we secure the border from Castile up there and we kind of start breaking them off. Or maybe once we put Castile under our chosen king, maybe they'll start doing that for us. Um, release all prisoners, we'll ask the family along with us. Okay. 
let's go. Let's go over here. Go marching to Zamora. Ooh, ooh. Hold the ground, men. Okay, okay. Where's that? Where's that army going? 19th of February, 8th of March. We'll chase him down. We'll chase him down. 1st of March. <coughs> okay. Okay, hopefully we can lure these dudes in. No, they're going a different way completely. Mmm, it's quite annoying. We need to try and engage their armies, but they're going to keep them running. Okay. They're going to... Okay, come on. Get there, get there. Okay, so they're, they're, they are in combat now. And they will be in combat for a little bit. But on the 12th of April, our forces will come in. Emperor John will smash them and cause them, hopefully, a bloody defeat. Here we go. There we go. They are bringing reinforcements here. From somewhere over here, I think. So, battle going well, battle going well. Yep, they're defeated. There's their reinforcements. Um, has usurped the Duchy of Strathclyde. And I think that has united Scotland. Yes! The Britannic Isles. Oh, no, and they're not. They're not ours. Damn them. Who's, who's these lords? We need to claim them. No? Oh, give me one second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Right, okay. What, what has been for you but a moment has been for me. Ten minutes. So, um, give me a moment. Let me just remember what I'm doing. Um, oh, just want to double check factions. Ah, oh, that's good. The independence faction is stupidly strong as usual. You're in two factions. Okay, um, can we kill him? Nope. French king has got people comfortable. Now that you have taken all of Scotland, would it be a good time to kill you? Maybe. Um, would you take a gift and then be invited to the plot? Fantastic. Okay. So hopefully we'll king the killer, uh, king? Kill the king of Scotland and take his child so I'm going to educate his child somewhere educate them with one of my favourites um could I send you award him an honorary title of uh, keeper of swans send Schnall uh, send him a gift. Okay, we'll offer to educate his child with Ah, King Bernard the Second of Wales. Marvelous. So we'll take his child, make them English, and then we'll have English Scotland. Colonialism as its finest. Did the we can't really do it with France because they've got stupid laws. Air isn't even the air. Um, but yes, he's six now, so we can educate him. Educate him with him. Okay, so we need to get give you. Okay, so we'll educate you with who? Who's my son? Dynasty Al Dagon, Pate. Um, King of Aquitaine. Hmm. Culture. English. English. He's my kinsman. He is my kinsman. Um. Can I educate him with me? No, 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 no. I can't. Um. 
Let us educate him with Adam the High Reeve of Bill's Demanche. And hopefully he'll become English. Um wait a second, I skipped past one. Um yeah, meanwhile there is a war going on, I just remembered, so I don't know why I'm being so silly. Um his heir is Count something of something. Um, I don't know why he's the heir. I don't know how they have their succession laws. But good for them. Anyway. Um, right, let's zoom in. Where were we? We were winning a war, weren't we? Um, okay, marvellous. Why did you let that peasant off um, accused from poaching? Because he needed the deer more than me. A good deed keeps a man happy. What kind of man are you? Um. Oh, she's become kind. Okay. So Princess Gabriella is very kind and happy and very intelligent. She's also just. Uh, smallpox is broken out in Kent. Um. Should we go and deal with them? Why is this? Is this our? This is our army of um. Specialists, isn't it? This is my my um, retinue. That's the word. <coughs> we'll send our retinue over to take out that army, um, and they're all having fun there. Any more? We're taking more places, are we? Fantastic. I like taking places. Taking places is fun. You know, we are building up a proper empire here. Okay, um... When are they going to arrive? Okay. 4th of August. Um... Okay, we'll get them. We'll get them. We will win. 4th of August. Here we go. Okay, they have more numbers than us to begin with. And they're taking a little bit of a heavy hit in that centre here. there. But... We've just got buffed with some troops. Prepare to die, Antiago's son. Let's write them back. Um, okay. Not looking great to begin with. Hmm. I wish we outnumbered them properly. Okay, okay. We'll... We will bring this army across. Come on. Capture it, capture it, capture it. No. Come on. <sighs> okay, okay, that, that battle's lost. Hmm. We need to march on that army and crush it. Hmm, that's not going to do well for us. Um... He's created that. Good for him. Uh, my liege, unfortunately, um, it is true. Uh, why should you gain the Duchy of Hereford? It is mine. You should go away and die in a hole. Right, okay. So these guys are going to Burgos. So we will go to Burgos. And we will take Emperor John. Um... Edmund, uh, we'll put John there, we'll put Edmund there, and then we'll put Pate there. Okay, so these armies are hopefully going to arrive at a reasonably good time to go and crush the Spanish forces. Okay, and we're going to send you in just to make sure this is a victory. Okay, here we go. Nope, they are going a different way completely. Prepare to die, defending troops this. We will stamp down those forces and we will move in there. 18th of October. Let's move in there then. First of... will we catch them? Mm, no we won't. We won't catch them at all. We need to hunt down this army. That's what we need to do. This will finish this war. Hunting down this army and defeating it. And then once we've defeated that army... Okay. Come on. Let's get quick about this, huh? 
They're going to Navarra. Okay, they're going to Navarra. And our forces will meet them there very quickly. Uh, my son Pate is exerting is not exerting himself in his studies. Um, beat him into action. To be honest, what kind of a man are you? You're angry. Talk to him about being diligent. I'm not going to pray for him. Um, I'm going to say... Ah, uh, we'll say he's angry. We'll say he's an angry man. Right, okay. Right. Let's go and hunt down this army now. Come on. Come on. Let's get them. Let's get them. And... There we go, we've got our massive army now bearing down upon them. Fantastic. Massive amount of weight down here. Okay, we're breaking this side. Easily done. Let the auto save just go past so I can see more of what's going on. Marvellous, okay. Um, moderate now. Not really in anyone's direction. Okay, you and Mark, uh, Mark with Von Andex. Ooh, you're old. We're still an amazing fighter. 50 years old. Oh, this guy's quite a good fighter as well. One mistake is all we'll get. Before you have a chance. Ooh. Oh my god, he's he killed us. Oh my god. Okay, we're John the Fourth. John the Fourth will finish this war. You know, John the Fourth, he isn't as good as his his father. I mean he's a much better diplomat. <laughs> but then again, it's, it's hard to be worse than that. But he's not as good a soldier. He's a slightly better steward. He's a worse schemer. But he's better at learning. Okay. So do we lose any vassals? Um. Okay. Okay, so... We're now John the Fourth, and John the Fourth as a man. Let's try and remember this, because I'm trying to get the RP back into this. He's a fertile man, that's not really coming into it. He's only a skilled fighter. He's a novice diplomat. Um, he wants to learn. Interesting. Um, he's cynical. He's diligent, kind, charitable, temperate. And he's a bit, a bit cowardly. Hmm. Interesting, though. Interesting. It will be interesting to see how this guy rules, really. With all those traits coming together. Um, he's got a good wife, though. He's got his son, Prince Pate. Yeah, we're going to have to educate him with us, of course. No, actually, it might be better to educate him with someone who's... Someone who's a much better warrior, such as her. Actually, I think I'm going to go for... A steward. Ooh, no, not Castilian, though. There we go, that'll be a good benefit. Um, what other children do we have to educate? So, I've, I've done John, we need to now do... Is it... Who is it? Okay. Oh, it's the sons... Pate, Gabriella and Ella, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we now need to educate him with... Yeah, educate him with her. Um educate my sister with her educate my sister with her I'm not gonna to worry too much about that hopefully our other things are all still working out you know the various engagements we set up to try and make this empire a bit more a bit more unicultural because that's what the Middle Ages you know you do you be an imperialist um, okay this is not good for this flank but it's massively outnumbering them our centre is doing great, we forced a flight there, so we're going to win this war. Unfortunately, King John III died fighting this war for us. So, um, at least we get to that victory. And now, look, it's Engelond, and they've got Leon. So, it's ours. Yeah, Orlando the Usurper of Castile. 
Um, he's Castilian. His son is, and we will try and educate him with us. Try and make him a good, loyal subject. Um, direct vassals. No, we're fine. We're not like the previous king. We're absolutely fine concerning vassals. Where does the Castilian king hold his title? In Laura, reigning in Laura del Rio. Laura del Rio. Where is that? Laura del Rio. Medina del Campo. Wait, wait, wait. It was a uh, different one, wasn't it? Um, Eldom of Combo. Ah, there, there we go. So that's. Yep, yeah, that's a bit of Castile down there. Oh well, well we've had fun, we've now made this purple, that's good. For one reason or another. Um, and how soon can we declare war on this man? Can't do that. Um, offer them vassalization. Nope. We could offer him vassalization, couldn't we? And he'd be like, no, I'm a king! He's not at peace. We can help him be at peace, if you know what I mean. And now we've got this horrible, horrible, almost land bridge, despite a small thing. However, I think that that is currently being conquered by... Yes. They seem to be conquering... Yeah, that area. So that bit will become part of our kingdom, I think. And then we'll have a lovely land bridge of Engelland. So yeah, things are going well. Um, what's our next target for interest? Ah, these isles, isn't it? We could offer them vassalization. Power. Mmm, foreign culture. Now, who do they come under? Man. Mmm, he's not quite... I don't think he's quite going for that, is he? He's not going to go for that one. And... <laughs> it's a bit of angle on there, that's quite funny. Um, it's not really that different there. I mean, we've got Engel on literally everywhere nowadays. Ooh. These areas gained independence. So, what's Moldova? Goodness me. So, they've managed to get independence. And Catholicism is doing rather well here, I must say. This is all Moldova. This one, he's fighting a war to get independence. So, the Golden Horde is basically splitting asunder at the moment. Um, is Moscow doing well? I can't see Novgorod there, but Yaroslav, Yaro, I think Yar Yaroslav, or is it Yaroslav? I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce these Eastern names. Moscovas there. Um, interesting. Anyway, um, we seem to be having some quite good luck here in being able to form quite a continental empire. I am tempted to look at taking over Hungary now, actually, because if I look here, claimants, anybody willing to come with us? Um, ooh, this lady, but she's far too old. We need to get a young claimant, really. We could do that. We could also look at Croatia. That could be an alternative. There's quite a few kingdoms there. Don't need all of them, do you? Quite a good young claimant there. I'm going to invite him to court anyway. Hmm. Anyway, I think... Yeah, we'll end this episode here. We're coming to the time anyway. So, we've managed to expand our empire. We've taken Castile off of them, and hopefully that means that we can start waging some real wars against them. You know, really taking some lands off them, because I think now... Now they're going to be in a bit of trouble. Maybe we could turn them into Portugal by taking all of the Spanish lands off of them. Yeah, that would be quite fun. But yeah, things are going well in this, and soon it will be time to actually transfer. I think we're only about 50 years away from transferring over to Europa Universalis 4, so I hope you're here for that, especially with the new um, expansion coming out. Should be quite interesting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like or a comment. Also, share this video as it really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have fun.